John here guys and today we're talking about the HD Zero Stack. We're here at the Sparks RC field, my home field, and I have the new stack, the new ESC built up in this Dendron's OZR with the Emacs Eco 3 motors. Pretty powerful 2207 motors they can get for a pretty nice budget price. But really what today we're talking about, the HD Zero ESC is now here going along with the Halo flight controller. Something that we've all been wanting longer than we even knew that we wanted it. This is my original Gambit action figure. Growing up in the early 90s, watching the X-Men Saturday morning cartoon, I became obsessed with this character, but this figure was exceedingly rare. Everyone was trying to catch all of these figures, but the one that eluded me so much was this Gambit figure. I remember calling Toys R Us and Target and asking the employees to walk the toy aisle, go through each package and tell me if a Gambit figure was there so that I could tell my dad to drive me there so I could get it. And it took weeks, months of calling until I was finally able to get it. And that's the kind of satisfaction that I feel holding the two components of this HD Zero stack in my hand. Life don't get much better than this. After years of spending hours and hours and hours of building, you finally have. You know how long I've been waiting for this? A flight controller with a VTX HD Zero plug on board, which will also work for DJI. You have integrated diversity Express LRS receiver built into it, and then you have a harness that's going to plug directly into this ESC. Solder up your motors solder up your power connector and that's where your soldering ends you'll spend less time on the bench more time flying more time crashing more time building another one with minimal time spent when you're younger and you start getting into hobbies like this a lot of times your bottleneck is the cost but as you get older you got a little bit more money but you have less and less free time to do the things that you love if you've ever as an adult, finally been able to afford that PlayStation 5 and all the games you want, but guess what? You never play them. That time is the limiting factor. So reducing the time that it takes in order to do your hobby is so significant. You can see at the front, it actually has a separate board. And then if you look on the back, you have this copper strip running down the middle, surrounded by all of these very nice size fets. You might say Boba Fets. And these two inclusions are gonna allow this to dissipate heat better than just about any other ESC on the market. 70 amp rating, they say up to 30 seconds, and it can even go up to 100 amps for a three second burst. That's crazy, this could be a new evolution in ESC technology. Look at the TVS diode on board. A lot of things that are gonna allow your motors to have the cleanest power possible. Now there's many tiers of this. You have the MPU 6000 gyro for 15 bucks more, but for 15 bucks less, you can get the ICM gyro, which is gonna work totally fine. That's probably what I'm gonna use the majority of the time. You can also purchase the ESC with BL Heli 32 or AM32. This didn't just come out overnight. In fact, when I was on Team HD Zero at the Mayhem Team Race, and I was there, Ryan was testing an early version of this ESC. So this has been months in the work with test pilots testing it, with refinements being made. This couldn't have come at a better time because a lot of the other stack manufacturers are having trouble adapting between AM32 and BL Heli32. You can pick the MPU 6000 if you want to pay 15 bucks more. I don't really feel the difference at my skill level, so I'm just going to go with whatever the cheapest is. So guys, what are you most excited about for HG0? Is it the new v2 goggles these are actually not the v2 goggles i just printed a red shell because i really liked the look of that now that v2 release is very significant because it has a number of improvements with the analog module built in but i think this new esc combo is actually going to be more of a significant release than even that new set of goggles what do you think of the d no wait <laughs> what do you think of this hd0 stack pre-conformal coded no build steps. I was able to do it in 13 minutes. Yeah, 13 minutes is kind of crazy, and they put a thick conformal coating layer. It's thick. Do you approve? I do approve. I wish it was as thick on the flight controller, but they even put it on flight controller too, so... It would make you your father to... proud. Yeah, it may... yeah, for sure. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's a thick layer. I really like it. What do you think of these new features? Copper strip, dual PCB on the FETs in the middle? 
dual PCB. See how there's a little extra layer of PCB? Yeah, I don't know what copper does, but apparently it does something good, obviously. That's copper. It costs money because it saves money. <laughs> Are you gonna use this stack? Probably so, yeah, since also it works nicely with the flight controller. This is very cool. Look at that, Carl. And Ryan, you think Ryan's responsible for this? Not no, no way, over. no way. There's just Carl. Only Carl? Yeah, Ryan just uh, takes the credits, but it's all Carl. <laughs> Carl thought of it up yeah. while he was just in his bathtub, or maybe while he was drinking uh, beer. I have beer. <laughs> mm, I like beer. This is one thing that I know I've been dreaming of for a long yeah. time. Express alert receiver built into the flight controller all right. and plugged for the VTX for nice. DJI. HD0 or whatever system on board. Beautiful. So there is only soldering motors and power, and that's it. I was able to build a quad in 13 minutes. Wow. Is that's this the, wild. Is this the dream? Yeah, I mean, that's no, pretty nice. It's still too much. <laughs> it's negative. It's good for someone, but it's still too much for me. Well, no, that's pretty dope, actually. You powered through in the early days yeah. when there was like no instructions <laughs> yeah yeah how long did it take you back then oh like 13 days 13 yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> legit yeah that's pretty wild it's come such a long way and this is like crazy board on top of a board yeah dual pcb copper strip on the bottom yeah it's supposed to help with some heat absorption sort of like a mini heat sink all right so lots That's of new cool. stuff. It looks like it's also conformal coated. Yeah, That's I was super excited about that. Yeah, I'm down with that. You don't even have to fly HD zero. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, that it's like, you know, friendly to all systems and smart of them to have a DJI plug because there's so many freestyle pilots in the DJI market who are not really into HD zero who would be buying this equipment if it's this easy to build. So I think that's really smart. Thank you. Yeah. Well, good work, Carl. I've only flown in about a couple of dozen packs, and so I can't really talk about the long-term reliability of this thing. I did push hard enough in order to break two arms, two races, and a motor, and the stack just kept on going like nothing even happened. Early on, durability is holding up pretty well. So far, it's feeling exceptionally smooth, but what's even more considerable is how you don't need to be an HD0 pilot in order to enjoy this stack. This is going to be the best stack out there for anybody flying DJI, for anybody flying walks now for anybody flying any of the hd systems out there this quad built in 13 minutes if you can solder faster than me you can maybe even get it done in under five under ten how fast are you at building if you end up getting one of these stacks please post in the comments how quickly you were able to get everything wired up and soldered up and put together. After you solder on your motors and your power connector, all that is is a plug from the ESC to the flight controller and another plug from the flight controller over to your video transmitter. And that's gonna be the same whether you're using DJI or HD0 or any of the HD systems because they all basically use the same plug now. So it's incredibly plug and play. Now the Halo flight controller that we've been using for a while does have the four LED outputs on each of the four corners, making it super easy to put LEDs on your quad. I also installed two of the oxbot leds on here and check how nice that looks it's been exceptionally smooth and if this thing lasts i don't see why anyone would want to build anything else good job on ht0 good job on carl good job on ryan now that he's joined the team you can see a lot of the new innovations and considerations that they're putting through in order to make ht0 just a little bit better for anybody that flies fpv not just the racers so you can really get the gyro that you want the esc firmware that you want and get the stack that you want for the fastest build ever carl's constantly giving us the things that we want in this hobby. And I just want to thank him and particularly Ryan for continuing the development for HD0. This is going to be the flight sector you're going to want to use to build, whether you fly DJI, HD0, Walks Now, or any other system. You know how long I've been waiting for this?